So the text animation and effects studio are going to be animation for your titles and text that you can place on the beginning of your text or the end of your text. So we have a whole bunch of different categories. Now at the very bottom, you are going to see style effects and it's a little bit different. This is just going to kind of give your titles and text a little bit of different glows and bevels, but let's go into animations. So if I go into my animations bounce, you know, we can highlight over a thumbnail, get a preview, or if we just hit preview all, and I'm just going to scroll this out to make the thumbnails bigger, you are going to see in and out labels. Now the in is to place this animation on the beginning of your title or text. The out is to place at the end of your title or text. And when you're ready to select a text animation, in this case, we're going to do an animation in. I'm just going to make sure I go to my marker and my timeline and select where I want the animation to begin. And these can be readjusted. It's not like you're going to be stuck with it and just double click on the animation in that I want. And I'm just going to make sure my marker is somewhere towards the end. So now I want to go into an animation out and double click. And now we're going to see our animation out go at the end of our text here. And you can just readjust it as you see fit. You're going to have some nice sound designs with all of these text animations. Now for a little bit more subtle cinematic type of effects, we're going to go into our animation cinematic category. If I hit the preview all, you can see these are a little bit more different types of fade styles, evaporation animations, a little bit more casual, simplistic, and elegant. Same rule applies, your in and out labels. In this case, I'm just going to select a cinematic animation in adjust the marker in my timeline where I want this effect to start. Go and double click on the effect. So if we hit play, I got a nice little cinematic animation in. Now I'm going to go into a cinematic animation out. Again, adjust my marker where I want this to start to animate out. Double click. And now you're going to notice that this particular animation is much bigger. So I'm going to have to just extend my title here so that the effect fully takes place. And that's pretty much it. And just choose your animation in, animation out. So just place your marker where you want your animation to begin. Place your marker where you want your animation to start to animate out. Double click on whatever effect you choose and readjust if you see fit. And that's it. Enjoy. <laughs>